Updating our breaking news, an earthquake has rattled the tri-state area. The USGS says it was centered about six miles east-northeast of Dover, Delaware. There are reports the quake was also felt as far north as New York and as far south as Baltimore. People in the Dover area also reported buildings were shaking during the tremor. Mm, I mean, neurologist Kate Bilo is going to give us an update in just a moment, but first, Paul Caruso, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey, joins us now on the phone. Are you with us, sir? Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please tell us about your research when it comes to something like this and what you have heard thus far. Does it match up with our reports? Uh, yes, uh, we're getting um, reports that's been felt widely throughout uh, uh, that region. And uh, our updated magnitude now is 4.1 on this quake. Wow. 4.1. Now, when I think of earthquakes, I think of fault lines. Complete, they come to mind. Talk to us about that angle of the story and where this looks like the epicenter was east northeast of Dover. Yes. Well, all earthquakes occur on faults, and this fault, uh, we're not sure if it has a name or not. At this point, um, we don't get quakes in Delaware very often, so it's not like California where we, you know, all the faults have names, and you know, we get earthquakes happening there all the time. Our meteorologist Kate Bilo was saying this wasn't a huge earthquake, it wasn't a small one, but pretty substantial, right? That it was felt that the, the scope of this was so large. Yes, and we commonly see this with earthquakes in the eastern U.S., that even small quakes are felt very far away. And that's because the rocks underground are very old and continuous, and so they transmit the energy from the earthquakes really well. And Mr. Caruso, with that being said, also when I think of earthquakes, I think of aftershocks. What would you say are, is the possibility of well, aftershock? Well, I, I certainly can't predict the future, but I can say that, you know, aftershocks are a possibility with this quake. That being said, usually the largest aftershock we see in a series is about one magnitude smaller than the main earthquake. Mm -hmm. And since people in this area aren't used to this type of occurrence, what would you tell people about this kind of an event? I mean, if you had to just pass along a couple of, of things. Well, it's, uh, it's not a big quake, but certainly um, people felt it. And, um, but, you know, it's, it's not something that's likely to kill people or cause significant uh, damage or injuries. Would definitely cause concern indeed because right. I had a lot of texts on my phone, a lot of people calling each other. Hey, did you feel that? Feel that? A lot of people did. Paul Caruso, geophysicist from the USGS, thank you so much for thank your you. insight. And of course, we will stay in touch with you, okay? Yes. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Kate Bilo joins okay. us right now. And